made it to Jeju. Specifically right now, I'm at the Canola Festival, which is a festival for all these gorgeous yellow flowers behind me. It's located somewhere where I cannot pronounce, um, but it's uh, east of the big ol' mountain that's right in the middle of Jeju. Um, getting here was an adventure. Uh, so before I... Um, came to Korea, I booked a rental car for Jeju because I heard that it'd just be so much easier to drive around uh, places if you just had your own car. So I got the rental car, but it didn't occur to me that I need an international driving permit. And that just totally slipped my mind and I'm also kind of surprised that the rental car didn't have it on the website. Like, hey, it did say have make sure you have a passport and a license, but it didn't say international driving permit. So I showed up and she's like, oh, we can't give this to you. And I was like, but, but no! Uh, so then I was like, all right, fine. I guess I'll just take a taxi to my Airbnb and try to figure this out. Uh, so I got to my Airbnb and I unpacked and I asked my host and uh, for some advice and I decided I can't get a rental car and there is trans public transportation in uh, Jeju but it takes a very long time and I don't really like taking the buses honestly they make me pretty nauseous and after taking that one taxi in Jeju so far I was like um yeah no these roads are very windy and there's speed bumps everywhere and it's just a rough time so I was like I'll just minimize my list. I'll do less things and that way I don't spend all this money and effort transport you know paying like like paying for taxis and stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, I wanted to go to the Canola Festival because it's the last day. Today is April 7th, so it's the last day for the festival and it's it's really breathtaking. You, it's literally, there's like this huge, like I can't even describe it, beautiful f field of flowers. And you'll, you'll just have to see a clip of it to believe me. And then there's also this path of uh, cherry blossoms that it's on, it's on, the road's on the other side of this field, but um, it's a nice, cute little path to walk and take pictures and stuff. And then at one point, the, the wind blew and all these flowers came down and everybody's like, wow, I gotta get a picture. And I was like, me too. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> not as uh, vocal. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that I didn't get the rental car because then it means I gotta like, you know, I gotta like cut down on some of the things I wanna do. Um, but it's kind of a relief too because I don't have to worry about driving or gas or parking and I know people were like you know you could just take the bus if you want to save money but um, but if I take the bus it's like I have to you know wait for it I have to get on it make sure I get on the right bus make sure I get off at the right stop and so it's a lot more mentally consuming than say a taxi and vacation is meant to be relaxing and beautiful like this background behind me wow um so yeah um i totally wore the wrong shoes uh to uh to this festival thing i wore some cute little sandals but um the i have a huge um charlie horse in both of my legs this one came first and then this one um it's just because the ground is so uneven and not meant to be walking around in sandals and a part of me regrets wearing sandals but a part of me is also like I bought new shoes for Korea and I'm also glad I didn't wear those because my sandals are hella dusty now and yeah so then sorry I'm I'm I even I am admiring the background behind me <laughs> um, speaking of shoes I also wanted to go on to this um sorry horseback thing that they were uh, they mentioned but um, they wouldn't let me on because I didn't have the right shoes which is disappointing but that's okay I guess I saved money <laughs> um, they didn't really have a lot of food things here like I guess it's since this is my first festival in Korea, I wasn't sure what to expect, but I was expecting a lot more snacks. But strangely, for some reason, um, 
Korea loves their hot dogs. There's a lot of corn dogs, hot dogs, and yeah, it's, it's weird. But it is what it is, I guess. Also, it was supposed to rain. So I was considering I was gonna get here and then they, it would rain and everything would be all sad. But it actually was really, 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 really sunny. I did not wear sunblock and I'm very upset. And I also had to buy this hat because it was just so hot. I look like an ajuma. It's funny, I was haggling with the lady for this because you're supposed to haggle. And um, I, we used my calculator to haggle and it was cute. Um, I did um, take a bunch of selfies like everybody else. And it's kind of nice that in uh, Korea, nobody cares about your selfie stick. So it's a good time. Sorry, I'm just checking out the road. This like one guy's like stopped and he's like blocking traffic. Here, I show you. Look at this guy. He's just, he's just stuck. And all these cars are like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, is that parked cars? Wow, I'm dumb. <laughs> that day is basically um, Trang is dumb day. I didn't get an international driving permit. <sighs> I'm pretty bummed about that because I wanted to do a couple hikes, but now I'm kind of concerned about hikes because the nice thing about a car is that you can throw everything in there, like extra water, extra shoes, a change of clothes. But then if I go hiking, I can't bring all that stuff because I don't want to hike for like three hours carrying all that shit. So now I'm like debating on maybe I'll cancel one of the big hikes and and yeah, just I guess it is what it is. I'm really surprised how beautiful this weather is here. I'll give you another tour of this little area. Oh, uh, over here is like this. Uh, so apparently this festival is at the Jeju Horse Park. So yeah, there's a, a big boy statue. Look at how gorgeous this is. It's just so beautiful. I'm sorry I'm shaking. But yeah, I'm a little hangry because I cannot find food. <laughs> I found some rice cakes and some juice. But it's not what I want. I want something savory. And I don't know what to do. Oh, yeah. Don't feel my good ankle. Gotta go up, up, up. Anyway, I think I'm gonna try to get out of here. It looks like traffic might be a bitch. So yeah, uh, wish me luck. On to my next adventure, hopefully, if it doesn't rain. Alright, right now I'm at the Kim Young Maze Park. I was given this map. The lady said, hold on to it until you are completely lost. And I said, great. Um, apparently there are 50 cats here. So I also got cat treats. They come free with your ticket. I think the ticket was $5 to get in. And um, we haven't even got to the maze part yet. But already I am a very happy look at these... Um, Cat balls! I don't know what they are, but they're cat bells, cat balls. They're just so cute. Uh, look at his face. He's just so happy and dumb. It's great. Uh, look at it. It's so cute. Bunch of photo opportunities, basically. Alright, let's go. Wow. It's so cute. Let's see the big maze together, all right? Cute little waterfall. Oh, I'm excited, I'm excited. Wow, look. That's like the beginning part of the maze. Look, it's so tall. Wow, look at this ledge, it's crazy. Okay, let's go up. All right, here's a peek at the maze up top from one of these wooden ledges. Wow. I'm 
cheating and I'm right in the middle because wow that's amazing so the story is that this guy Kim Young Park uh, planted all these trees um, to build this maze is that crazy I don't know what this is but it's a loud bell wow. okay so I went down a part just to get a feel to see what it's like wow that's crazy Here's me for reference. And I'm a good five feet. <laughs> I really do like it. It's just intimidating to me even as an adult. Wow. I love it though. Okay, now let's go see the cats. It's super cold, so I got this hot tea. It's so cute. Now I found an adorable cat and some more cats and I'm gonna feed them all these treats, yes! Cat treats! Oh yes! Do you think I have treats? I do have treats! Oh, 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 oh! Excuse me, this is my tea. I'll move this out of the way. Oh, who's a good cat? Are you a good cat? Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where's your big fluffy boy? What about you? Are you a cutie? No, not interested. Had too many snacks. Do you want a treat? No treats? Only this one wants a treat. No wonder you're fat. <laughs> what about you? Do you want treats? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna sit down. So we have this, um, this big boy. He's so cute. Oh. Hello, yes, uh, who's a good boy? Are you a good boy? Mm -hmm. No, not interested? Oh, oh no, you dropped it. Here, here, meow, meow. Oh, ah. Uh. You, <laughs> you keep dropping them. Okay, one more time. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh no. Oh goodness. What a struggle. Oh well, at least you finally got it. Wow. Oh. He's jelly. He needs to about me. What about my snacks? You already had a lot of snacks. Look how cute they are. Wow, they're so cute. Oh, you want my tea? Don't you want snacks? No, you scared? Oh, you're so fat. Let him eat too. Here. Yes, yes. That's the snack. The snacky snack. Do you want snack? You still not interested? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Uh, where's you gotta pretend to play to get it? Mm, wow, they're here just so cute. Who's a good boy? All right, let me try this tea. Mm. I asked this cute old lady, I, I I put into my translator thing, I was like, Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. I'll put these away. Um, uh, if she had any hot tea using my uh, Korean translator thing. Oh, that's good. And she's like, yeah, I got, I got coffee, I got Americano, cappuccino. And I was like, no, 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 no coffee, no coffee. And she's like, I got this, uh, but she like listed like Korean teas in well she listed teas in Korean and then I was like oh that sounds good 
and it turned out that this is good. <laughs> mm. I think it's like an orange and a honey. It's something like my mom used to make. It's great. Look, I just have all these cats chilling with me. There's one right there. The fatty. The cute, I'm antisocial. And this is the one, he's a big boy. Uh, I didn't think any cats would come out because I only saw like one or two. But it's gold, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> Yo, you are such a fatty. Let your friends eat. Here. Do you want? You still don't want? Okay. Put these away. Oh, who's a good boy? Oh, here. So you can see who's a good boy. He is a good boy. Oh, oh you like the scratchies? Excuse me. <laughs> this is not food for you. I love how this guy's head's just blocking everything. <laughs> here, I'll give you snacks over here. You can have the snacks over here. I'll move you out of my frame strategically. Oh, wow. Well. <gasps> look who's a good boy. Or a good girl. I don't know. Oh, look at that. That's like a bruise. Are you a, You've been in fights? You've been causing trouble? Oh. <laughs> he just dropped the cat food on the ground. <laughs> like, excuse me. Mm. <sighs> Here. Oh, oh, now you want treats, but they have to be on the ground. Meow, meow. This isn't um, one of the more popular sites, but I'm kind of glad I went. <sighs> it's very, very chill. This is a good time. Look. Yeah. He's like, yeah, it's good time, good time. Come, come to Kim Yong Mae's park. Um, it's so dark. Hope it doesn't rain, but it probably will. Maybe I'll try to hit up one more place before the rain hits. Yeah, see how that does. This is so good though. Mm. like I won't be going anywhere else it just started to rain so I'm gonna go home shower change relax a little bit <laughs> <laughs> 